Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize the Valorant, fix FPS drops, lags, and stutter. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC. And once you're over here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. It helps you to save your PC resources by turning off game bar in the background, allowing you to improve your performance. Head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, allowing you to improve your system's performance. Right beneath that, you will find graphic settings. Head over to that, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware external GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. This will help you to utilize your GPU for rendering the games as well as reducing input latency. Go back to graphics and then over here you'll find a list of all of the apps and games installed on your PC. What you have to do is click on the browse button and then add a Valorant in this list. I have already added that so I have to go to options and then select type performance and then click on save. Once you're done with that, head over to Windows Update and make sure that you're always up to date. If not, try updating the latest version because Windows keeps on fixing bugs that may cause your fps issues step number two is compatibility settings and for that look up for the install location of your game once you're here go over to valorant live shooter game binaries win64 and then you'll find win64shipping.exe right click on that head over to properties and then click on compatibility disable full screen optimization and then click on change high dpi settings and select override high dpi scaling behavior then click on ok click on ok and you're good to go step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here look for your local disk c click on create and name it valorant and just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is Valorant episode 9 add to FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you are over here, simply open up the first folder that is CPU priority. And again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and use the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and then the Intel CPU priority right over here. Second is Valorant priority. And for this, I would recommend you guys leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here third folder is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of presets according to your ram once again i use 32 gb ram it could be different for you so you can apply the one in your pc and once again if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default next is programs in which i have left three simple programs first one is cache cleaner simply right click on this as administrator this will start deleting all unwanted temporary files on your pc which are created by the applications not currently in use this are just dump files and you can feel free to clean them every now and then. Next is memreduct.exe. After installing it, you can simply open it up on your PC. And here's how memreduct actually works. As you guys can see that I'm currently using 32% of my system memory. And as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, the memory in use falls down drastically. This will help you to create a headroom for your games to perform better and also improve your system's performance and your FPS significantly. Last is quickcpu.msi. You can install it and open up quickcpu on your PC. Once you're over here, all you have to do is click on the max performance and then click on accept click on ok and then make sure that all of the sliders are up to 100 percent over here click on apply and that should be it this will disable core parking and apply the best power plan that you can use to improve your system's performance once that is done you can simply close it now let's move to the fifth folder that is unwanted service and over here i recommend you guys to disable every single one of the pc services this will help you to improve your cpu performance ultimately helping you to boost your fps once again if you want to revert anything back you can go over to this folder and revert all of them back or one by one if you want it last is the input lag fix in which i have left keyboard latency fix and once again i would want you guys to comment your keyboard specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list head back to the mouse latency registries in which i have left disable pointer precision if you're on laptop do not disable it but if you guys are on pc you guys can disable pointer precision and also run fix mouse delay and this will help you to set up your mouse coordinates correct once that is done simply click close this and let's move to deanimating your windows this is super simple simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your pc and over here click on adjust for best performance click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents for dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts this will help you to reduce all kind of animations which are really unnecessary and consuming your cpu resources this won't impact your fps a lot but the next step will so head over to the advanced tab and then click on virtual memory click on change and deselect automatic 
automatically manage pacing file size. For the initial size, set this thing to 1361. And for the maximum size, you have to open up a calculator and multiply the total RAM on your PC with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM, so I have to multiply 32 with 1024. And the value that I get over here, I have to divide this by 2 and then paste this value in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set and then click on OK. And this will set your virtual memory optimally for gaming. Next step is system configuration. And for that, open up system configuration on your PC. And once it opens up, head over to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number processor and choose the maximum number of processors available. Click on OK, head over to services, then select hide all Microsoft service and disable all kind of RGB control service, Adobe update service, printer service, browser update service and other services that you don't think that are required. Once again, this will help you to improve your system's performance drastically. Click on apply after that and then click on OK. Next step is dropping into the game and following the best in game settings for Valorant. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to settings and then go over to settings over here. Then go down to video and then make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen. Then you have to set your Nvidia reflex low latency to on plus boost. Graphics quality, over here you'll find multi-threaded rendering. I highly recommend you guys to set this thing on. If you have a CPU with more than 4 cores, this option will be available to you and this is an FPS changer. And this option is a game changer. I highly recommend you guys to enable that. All kind of qualities should be set to low. Vignette and VSync should be turned off, anti-aliasing should be set to none, anisotropic filtering should be set to 2x and all of the options below that should be set to off. Head over to stats and then client FPS, set this thing to text only and then you'll find your network. Over here you have to set your packet loss to graph only. Once that is done, click on close setting and now you are good to play Valorant with the best settings possible. I hope this guide helps you out, if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching tweakers and peace out